Hey, Sneaky Linux back tonight, and tonight we've got Simplicity Linux 9.10 Desktop Edition. Right, now last time I looked at Simplicity, Simplicity should I say, it was quite good, you know, it's alright, not too bad. Right, this is the first problem I had. When I first booted in to the desktop, I didn't have no widgets. So what I've done, I removed a few and just left these two, and they magically came back. So that's not too bad a problem, but hey, it was still a bit of a problem, you know. I was expecting them to be there straight away. So I'm going to add one here to the widget bar, just the logo. Click on apply, and in theory it should all come together just like that. There you go, and I've got my little logo up there, that's cool. Right, and apart from that little wiggle, that weren't too bad, so you know, not too bad at all. Networking, now you've just got an icon for networking here, unlike in Puppy. So there's a gear, nice easy peasy, I'm using Ethernet so stream tuner on the other hand opens up like a shot now this is where I get a few problems with simplicity this time around some programs open up really really quick and others take ages and ages so I'm going to click play on here to play this radio station obviously you ain't going to hear this through the speakers for a simple reason it could be against the law and I wouldn't want to do that break the law would I now oh no but it's coming through nice and clear this bit on simplicity works Lovely, to say the least. That's really, really quick. Surprising, I was to say. Skype, on, on the other hand, also works really, really quick. Lovely. Click on Accept. What I'll do, I'll use my little test account. So I'll put in my Skype name there. We'll just see if it all works. I'm not sure what Skype Pet is using here. Because I haven't really looked into it that much, to be really honest with you. I've been a bit lazy and a bit busy. With all these Windows 7 repairs. But hey, never mind. Click Sign In. We wait a little while. So I mean, it comes up really quick. Unlike in other pups, sometimes it can take an age. So I was quite happy with that too. Little Skype icons down in the bar. So if you don't want it on the desktop, see it go. It's still there. But we're going to quit that anyway. So I'll click on quit. Where should we go next? He says to himself. Oh, we've got VLC Media Player. Works lovely. I did try that, but I'm not going to show you. It's on the vid because it takes you know too much time. I'm making this as a short one because I've done quite a few for simplicity. And I'm really waiting for the next one to come out, to be really honest. I do like that picture in Opera, don't you? It's a lovely little icon. Nice, nice picture of a little jet clean. Works nice and quick, Opera 10 in that. I've not used it much on my own desktop, to be honest with you, because I've been a bit busy doing other stuff. Sea Monkey works even quicker <coughs> on this, I must say. I'll go to the Puppy Forum and you'll see what I mean. It comes up really, really quick. Lovely. Now when I used Abbey Word though, it took ages to load and I just didn't get what was going wrong. So, hmm, never mind. Can't have everything now, can ya? Anyway, we'll go down to the menu. Same puppy menu. XSC interface, like this system. Bleedy, bleedy, bleedy. Nothing new there, is there really? Right. When I tried to install, using the universal installer after partition and everything, got it all installed. Grub obviously didn't work, and I couldn't do a full install, so that was another bad bit. Normally they install quite quick and easy, so I even tried a different um, file systems, XT3 and there's XT2, and a FAT16 as well, just in case. Wallpapers, you get loads, look, he's give you loads and loads of wallpapers. Where'd he get them from? Has he been out stealing? No, of course he ain't. But, so we'll open one up just to see what they're like. They're all good, quite high quality ones. So you can change plenty of desktop backgrounds for you. That's lovely. Open as in paint, as you can see there. Nice, I like it. Right, just near, near the end now. Now the other thing that I found, it does like its RAM. Now really, it likes at least 512 RAM to run reasonably quick. Otherwise it takes an age to load onto the screen. That's one of my little downfalls on this one. But like a lot of PUP 4.2s, they're all like that. They're all like that. It's part of the system and it's probably nothing down to you, Dave, really. When you're trying to do stuff, it just ain't working, mate. But I do like it. Sneaky Linux out.